The Mediterranean is a historically and culturally significant area, giving birth to the first civilizations and being a hub for the growth of the human race for thousands of years. The Mediterranean Sea is the ninth largest sea in the world, and because of this, the peoples of the lands surrounding the sea can be very diverse. But I'm sure you've heard of the Mediterranean look, how people from the Mediterranean area have a very specific look to them having features that are pretty similar to one another. Light brown to olive skin tone, usually on the hairier side, dark hair and dark eyes. Why is it that this is seen throughout the Mediterranean no matter if you're in Spain, Morocco, Italy, Greece, Lebanon, or Egypt? Why does this phenotype exist throughout this area spanning three continents? Today we will answer this question, looking at ancient prehistoric DNA to explain the people of the Mediterranean. Like I mentioned, the Mediterranean look has its specific features. Light brown to olive skin, thick, dark hair, brown eyes, slender build, medium to short height, many times a prominent nose, and maybe a slight brow ridge. However, there is some diversity depending on the region. Usually in Europe, they tend to have lighter skin and features in general, compared to most of the Middle East and North Africa. Obviously, cultural, religious, and linguistic differences between groups exist as well, with the Middle East and North Africa being predominantly Muslim, speaking Afro-Asiatic languages, whereas most of the European Mediterranean is Christian and speak Indo-European languages. Although these are all true, what we do see is that, at least phenotypically, people from the Mediterranean share physical attributes. People from the Mediterranean share more physical attributes with one another than they do with other groups in their continent. A northern Algerian Amazir man has features more in common with an Italian or Greek or Spanish person than they could have with even some Amazir populations in other parts of Algeria, like in southern Algeria, far from the Mediterranean, like a black Tuareg person who are also Amazir. Although culturally similar and related, they share different traits because of the history of migrations as well as the regions they are in with the Tuareg person being closer to Sub-Saharan Africa, whereas Northern Algerian Amazir being on the Mediterranean. In the same way, we see groups like Italians looking different from Germans or Norwegians or the English. However, this does depend on the region, as Southern Italians have less Central European related DNA compared to Northern Italians, for example. In Asia, a Palestinian or Turk will look different than a Pakistani or Chinese person. Mediterranean peoples will also have very similar cultural and traditional traits, much to do with the shared history and geography of this land. We can't forget the countless empires and kingdoms that shaped this region, whether it be the Roman Empire, Ottomans, Islamic Caliphates. These did have an impact on peoples and sometimes even genetically to an extent. However, the reason that Mediterranean peoples look very similar to each other has a lot more to do with prehistoric populations that populated this region of the world. So who are the ancestors of the Mediterranean, and why do these people share so many similar physical traits? The majority of Mediterranean DNA is West Eurasian in origin. West Eurasian refers to groups that developed in Western Eurasia after migrations out of Africa about 50,000 years ago. These people split from basal Eurasians. West Eurasian populations develop traits like lighter skin, straighter hair, and hairiness. Majority of Mediterranean DNA is West Eurasian. Yes, in certain regions, there is higher rates of other DNA. If you go to North Africa, there could be substantial rates of sub-Saharan DNA depending on the population. The closer to the Mediterranean you get, the lower this DNA is, and the more south you go, the higher it is. But it is still important to recognize these black populations in these areas of the Mediterranean because they do exist. And even when we aren't talking about these specific black North African groups, non-black North Africans still have sub-Saharan DNA in North Africa and in lower rates in the Middle East. But still, most North Africans and Middle Easterners that live by the Mediterranean have mostly West Eurasian DNA. Europeans are similar. Majority of their DNA is West Eurasian and can have some minor Sub-Saharan African DNA and also some East Eurasian DNA by way of Eastern hunter-gatherers who derived most of their DNA from ancient North Eurasians who were part East Eurasian. Most Mediterranean groups derive their DNA from a handful of prehistoric West Eurasian populations, and there is overlap between regions and ethnicities, which is why they look similar. Middle Easterners are usually a mix of Natufian, Anatolian Neolithic farmer, Zagros Neolithic, and Caucasus hunter-gatherer. This is the majority of their DNA, with smaller sub-Saharan DNA components. 
These genetic components vary region to region. The closer you are to Saudi Arabia or Yemen, the higher the Natufian DNA is, for example. North Africans also have the same components but have much higher rates of Anatolian Neolithic farmer DNA and a large additional component of North African Neolithic farmer DNA. They also have some Western hunter-gatherer DNA as well. Anatolian Neolithic and North African Neolithic are the biggest components of North African DNA. Anatolian Neolithic farmers are a very important DNA component in the Mediterranean. This specific people have a lot to do with the quote-unquote Mediterranean look. This group spread farming throughout the Middle East, Europe, and parts of Africa around 11,000 years ago. Entering Europe, they mixed with Western hunter-gatherers and created the population known as early European farmers. North Africans have this DNA component of Western hunter-gatherers because North African groups like the ibero merugians and their descendants like the North African Neolithic farmers ended up mixing with these early European farmers, creating the basis of what became Amazir people. Because of this, DNA from groups like Natufian hunter-gatherers and Zagros farmers is much lower than in Middle Eastern populations. In Europe, Mediterranean groups will be made up of a few components, Anatolian Neolithic farmer, Western hunter-gatherers, as well as some Western steppe herder DNA, aka the Proto-Indo-Europeans, who themselves were a 50-50 split between Caucasus hunter-gatherer and Eastern hunter-gatherer. This Western steppe herder DNA is usually around 20%, but this can vary. Their biggest genetic component is usually Anatolian Neolithic farmer, which is expected. This component is around 50% or higher, usually being pretty high in places like Italy or Greece. And the more north you go in places like Italy, or if you're in a country like Spain, they will have slightly lower Anatolian Neolithic farmer DNA and more Western steppe herder DNA. These West Eurasian populations created the modern Mediterranean look. Other groups like Caucasus hunter-gatherers and Zagros Neolithic, who were very closely related to each other, also had phenotypes similar to Anatolian Neolithic in terms of dark features and lighter skin. This is very common uh, throughout these West Eurasian populations. Yes, there were certain groups that had lighter features, but in the Mediterranean and the ancestral populations that populated the Mediterranean, they just had these darker features on average. But as you can see, there is a lot of overlap between these groups throughout the Mediterranean. The shared Mediterranean look we recognize today is not a coincidence. It's a result of deep prehistoric connections. Populations across North Africa, Southern Europe, and the Middle East all descend from overlapping ancient West Eurasian groups, especially the Anatolian Neolithic farmers who spread agriculture and genes that shaped the region's appearance. Over thousands of years, these genetic foundations mix with later migrations and local adaptations, creating the diverse yet familiar faces of the Mediterranean. Despite linguistic, cultural, and religious differences, the people of this area are bound by a common ancient heritage written in their DNA.